in Flight Hacks News, submitted by Rosie Cheeks, here are 14 ways to get better sleep on an airplane. First class? <laughs> you can buy a first class ticket. Well, this is uh, for a coach or economy or whatever. Fly private jets and uh, <laughs> drink? Yeah, and while you get your dick sucked? Drink I don't have a dick. Flying, what are you flying with? Dreams. Mm. Airline. <laughs> Not even in real life. Oh my god, that's a good airline name. Dreams? Yeah. Oh, that'd be tight. I would book for them real quick. Nice. So, here's a list of some travel bloggers who've recommended. I need these. I can never sleep while I'm playing. Uh, and I'm not going to listen to them if they're shorter than 5'11". If they're 5'11 and under, Yeah, they can fuck, fuck off. off. <laughs> I'm with you, girl. No, I'm sick of it. Yeah, have they have that happen. privilege and they don't fucking yeah, know. Yeah, fuck them. That's true. So the first one says, avoid sugar and alcohol. And then this is from Meg Jared, a travel blogger. That's just sleeping in general, yeah. Avoid alcohol? Listen, she says, I know someone called the fun police, but you should skip that free airline lounge champagne and avoid alcohol and sugar completely. While you might think alcohol will send you to sleep, this is usually only short lasting, maybe three to four hours and you'll then wake up with a headache, feeling thirsty, and won't be able to get back to sleep. Fine if your flight is only three to four hours, but if you're on a long haul flight, this might be counterproductive. With sugar, when you're sitting down for long periods of time, you're not using up a lot of energy, so when you eat salty or sugary foods, this ends up causing a lot of bloating, and nobody wants to feel bloated while they're flying. What pussy wrote this shit? A girl. If I have two drinks, I'm gonna wake up with a headache in four hours? <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> If only. It does dehydrate you, which causes headaches. If only two drinks would get me to sleep. Jesus. One. Next one, take <laughs> melatonin. When going on long haul flights, I always bring a sleeping aid such as melatonin that helps me sleep better on those long overnight flights. Jessica Shoot. Van Dopp said. You know what helps Don't me take sleep? Melatonin. You know what helps me sleep? Is the business class at Singapore Airlines when you lay down. Oh, that was nice. Yeah. Okay, melatonin has been proven. Don't quote me on this. I'm just on Jack, just kidding news. To create spaces in your brain. Really? Yeah. Are you sure it's not it makes ecstasy? You a little, it can make you a little slower over time if you use it regularly. So fuck melatonin, I ain't taking that shit. I thought we naturally produce melatonin. We do, but you don't fucking need to take the product as well in addition to. But I think it's because you're lacking the normal amount that you need to put it in now. If you're a fucking science professor, dude, how are you supposed to know that you're lacking the normal amount? You like most sleep. people just take it because they can't sleep, right? Yeah. It's not because melatonin's not being produced in their body. They're taking it yeah. like almost because they're like, well, I need this to sleep It's because right they're now. addicted to their phones and then they have too much caffeine in their system. Sure. So they're taking melatonin Anything that fucks it. with you like that, memory, anything like that, uh, 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 don't think. Said the energy drink guy that <laughs> hates water. Hey, look for the study that correlates taking energy drinks to fucking oh brain God, cell loss and I'm why. out. And I'm out. You know what's crazy? A lot of fucking people keep sending me these fucking articles about energy drink and the damage that they do and I'm like, I'm not fucking Nikki, don't send it to me. I'm not Steve, don't send it to me. Yeah, you know what? I've what looked at a lot of those. I've looked at a lot of those and you know what? They're not doctors. They're not, They're not as delicious. So you never physically have felt the energy drinks? I used to drink a lot and it would just like fuck with my stomach. Fuck with your stomach how? I just met a healthy 55 year old man that had a stroke from energy drinks. Oh, they, they said like this is from energy drinks? He's like, stay away from it. Just, I don't do it drink? anymore. How many don't I drink? Pack a day. Oh shit. I used to drink two, two big monsters. Yeah, I do about two. And like, I kind of got an ulcer. Okay. But you I was got two kidney stones. Oh, that's that. I had one kidney stone. I mean, kidney stones twice. Yeah, well, when I had him 10 years ago, I never even touched an energy drink then. How big was it? Did you have to pass it now? I had to get surgically removed. He's like, I didn't have energy drink. I had I Diet know, right? Coke. I actually didn't. Diet Pepsi. 10 years ago, I didn't have any of that shit. We don't believe you until Nikki's here going, fuck you. Yeah. You know me 10 years ago. So, oh, so no know? one could call you on your bullshit is what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay. So anyway, you're right. Uh, and by the way, my mother's a lying whore. Don't trust her. <laughs> 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 Mothers are lying whores. Mm-hmm. Especially mine. Yeah. If she disputes me. That's true. <laughs> She'll own it, I'm not. All right, you next one. You ever lie to Isaac to make him go to bed? I'm not a whore. How does that make you not a whore? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, next one says, wear loose shoes. One thing I do <laughs> that really helps on long flights, oh five or more God. hours, is wear slightly loose slip-on shoes. If I'm planning to sleep on the flight, I might end up with swollen feet, but if there's some room in the shoe, I'll be comfortable anyway, plus a little room allows for socks on chilly flights. 
These tips suck. Who's so wearing far? combat <laughs> boots? Who the fuck is wearing stilettos? Oh, there's that people like, that wear stilettos. Yeah, I thought it was a real hack where, like, if you press the button hard enough, they'll actually recline all the way. <laughs> this is like, what happens. And what then landing your hat? other person's. Yeah. Place. This is what happens when websites pay like independent contractors fifty bucks to write fucking shitty articles like this. That is not like a this. travel hack. Like who who go who's this like I'm gonna take a flight let me buy some shoes that are one that size are big size yeah big. like yeah. that makes no but sense like, these are my flight shoes hold on these are not hacks these are 14 ways to get better sleep on an airplane why is it always arbitrarily 14 15 <laughs> <laughs> it's it's because they paid somebody 50 bucks to fucking expand the list out you know sometimes there's only there only needs to be three tips yeah. three good ones right. What's the next one? I want to, if there's gold, I'm okay with it. I'll just tell them all to you and maybe you'll find some gold. Rattle them off. Another one is choose a seat wisely. Try to get a window seat so you can lean against the wall. Duh, fuck you. Not everyone me. wants that. Not everyone travels. Not everyone, Not everyone I want travels. the aisle seat. I always want aisle now. I used to love window, but I hate tapping people and asking them to move. I, I hate aisle because they always run into me on purpose, the cart ladies. Oh, You're just perfect. wide, dude. And those buff, buff ass <laughs> arms sticking out, man. As soon as they get to your aisle, they angle it a little bit. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Fuck this guy who's buff. Okay, and then the Buzzle next window. one says, tire yourself out. Once I hit my departure gate and the stress level of travel stabilizes, I begin my pre-flight, I mean my flight pre-check to ensure smooth travel. I start drinking as much water as possible to keep hydrated and I use whatever time so you I have piss 20 times on the plane. or take off. <laughs> to move around the airport, airports are great places to walk and get your endorphins immune and circulatory systems pumping. In I agree with that. to walking, I use airport seating, seating for leg lifts and lower body muscle toning and use walls for push-ups and arm exercise. This fool works out? It's a girl. Not an airport? This chick is a robot, dude. Is this person- I've seen girls do, right? or I've seen people do like yoga and stuff because they know they're gonna be sitting for That's long periods of time. That's different, stretching. This yeah. fool's trying to do leg lifts and shit. Dude, one time I had this Asian lady behind me blasting fucking music the whole time. On a plane, and I was like, "What the fuck is her problem?" She's playing like this gentle string instrument through a boombox. Why are you so phones? angry? Was she getting a That's massage? So it was loud as fuck, I and we're trying. You to just say. said it was gentle. It was like no, but it was like loud, right? So it's like ding dong, dong ding ding dong, whatever. The That's fuck. racist. That's real. Bro. It was real. It wasn't. It was. She wasn't saying all that. I mean, although it sounded very similar. <laughs> That's racist, Chio. <laughs> know the difference. Okay, school. <laughs> Can you imagine she's out there singing ding dong ding ding dong? <laughs> no, but she was playing this music through a boombox and just sitting there and everyone in her aisle is just like No one told her I'm shit? Me. Nobody said that's probably my mom. I would have said some shit. Yeah, she why wouldn't you say anything if she's disrupting your peace? Because she was three aisles back. I would have had to get up and oh. go around shit. No, just tell this the flight attendant. Yeah. My mom has this fucking answering machine on a necklace that plays this Buddhist chant that's over nonstop. and over and over. <laughs> and she over left for Tyson? Over. Yep, that one. Yeah, my mom's nuts. What is with this? Why? Why does she do it? Because it's, it's just a Buddhist chant. She's just she crazy. She just wants the, to bless. She wants the om? <sighs> I don't know, she's nuts. It's magical spells. Next one, invest in a good travel pillow. I could agree to this. Some people like memory foam, some people like the ones you blow up. Neck know the no. size and style that works for you before you board the plane with that pillow. Test it out on your own couch and you'll be able to sleep <laughs> soundly on your next flight. Because if you buy it at the airport, it's like $600. Yep. Yeah. They and never work for me. Me I'm neither. I've tried so many different pillows. I even got that turtle one that you wrap around your neck because my, my thing with like the regular neck pillows is that my neck always leans forward. So I did that one and it still leaned forward but oh, it was yeah, just yeah. attached to my fucking you neck. Gotta get used to doing this. Oh my, this sounds like I'm stuck in a conversation with my grandma mm -hmm. and she's like, well yeah, I just bought this pillow and I'm gonna test it out before my flight. And How I'm about you like, try yes and up for one, Steven? Oh, no, the, no, don't yes and boring conversation. <laughs> you should get this stiff. <laughs> hey, that might work this better. Works way better. I literally tried a neck pillow that's similar. Because I have a neck, I have the same problem where like no matter how I position, by the time I sleep it's like this. Yeah, mine doesn't do that. Wait, you guys don't sleep Why? like this? I start oh, that way. That I hurts. Start yeah, that way, but it, does it? But I never end that way. No, the whole time? Fuck yeah, that'll hurt. I'll sleep on the table. I'll, I'll bring the table down. That's that hurts so my back. Like, yeah. How tall are you? He's pretty tall. I'm like almost six feet. Yeah, and you can do that. Wow. It's it's kind of like I have it's to kind of. I'm I'm five eleven and I'm fucking squished. So I'm like, yeah, no, it's not one hundred percent comfortable. Dude, I'm five four and yeah. I can barely do it. I'm six four. Y'all are privileged as fuck. You're six four. Yeah, y'all really? privileged as fuck yeah, on airplanes, dude. I know. I just didn't think he was. What'd you think he was? Like six two? No, I'm six four and a half, motherfucker. And you're a shrimp to me. 
Shrimp. What's the next oh, one? Oh man, <laughs> one is meditate. Even if you're stuck in the middle seat or just dread being on an airplane to begin with, let alone getting some good sleep on it, fear not. The number one thing you can do is focus on your mindset. Stay aware of the thought narrative happening in your head. Don't psych yourself out and get stressed before you even head to the airport. Take a quiet moment to set an intention to enjoy the entire journey, starting with the airport experience. The practice gratitude that you're lucky enough to go on a trip. That's cool. So people smack stressed. her while she's saying. Yeah, what is this? Fucking 14 travel hacks for Buddhists or something? Yeah, like who has time for this? Like traveling could be kind of overwhelming sometimes. Staying you know, in the like, present moment. You guys travel a lot, so this is for people that like. They don't know what to expect. Did nobody proofread this shit and go, "That was the most boring sentence I ever read in my life." <laughs> Mom can't benefit from this. It says by Stephen Green from Los Angeles. No, Central. I wouldn't have written anything like that. You correct the state. You correct that. I would have just said one yeah, thing. How defensive you got? <laughs> one thing is make more money. Yeah, That's so a better travel. Yes. Yeah, you yeah. fly first class and yep. shut the fuck up. Yep. Yep. Because I can't yet, yep. but I will one day. You will one day. That's why I'm going to fucking sit in economy with my achy breaky back, and I'm going to be like, <laughs> I'm practicing gratitude right now because I'm going somewhere where I want to be. Yeah. The best thing though is when you're in business class, you can look at everyone like they're scum as they yeah. go by. Yeah. Like, get out of here, you netherworld scum. Yeah. I'll give you an actual travel hack. If you could pick a seat somehow where there's no one around you and hopefully oh, that's no one sits and okay. you get to sprawl out just a little bit How more. How the fuck is that a hack? That's just obvious. Well, hey, you know some people, if, if people are only traveling once a year, like you're saying, yeah, but they how do they control that. that no one's gonna sit next to them? How you, is that you a just hack? gotta wish, and that's why this is a realistic. Mark's like a lottery winner right now. He's like, I got a hack for you. Buy a Powerball ticket, okay? <laughs> it works every that. time. Like, thanks, Bart. I'll give you my my seating hack. So it was when it's just me and Casey uh, flying anywhere. I try to get one of those three rows, but then I book the window and the aisle. So then. Hopefully no one likes sitting in the middle of two people. So then we end up getting that middle seat. Does that happen a lot? Sometimes. If the free if the flight isn't popular or like being yeah, booked but then often. You're in there and then they're like, just so everybody knows it's about to get full in here. And then you're like, oh shit. It's only no, a fat guy comes point, walking in. At that right, point it's, it's fine, because then one of us would just switch and if they're lucky enough to let yeah. you. Or they're gonna complete it. The like, There's no way that I want fifteen H. And that's mine. <laughs> yep. I've seen somebody like that. Nope, that's on my ticket. I don't want that seat. I'm a middle seat person. Those are the people that probably believe like, oh, the reason why you have to sit in your seat is because in case the plane crashes, at least they know which bones belong to who. Exactly, my no. <laughs> Whoa, I never even thought about that. I, I used to have like really bad sciatica, like really bad back problems, so none of this helps. Matters. Like the only thing I would do was just walk around the plane. Just walk Press around the, the button way harder and it goes back a little bit more. <laughs> Wouldn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen those first class, pod, first class pods? You'll like those. Yeah, those are dope. One day, we'll, we'll all fly in one of those.